Christoph. Welcome back to Peace Storm. We're playing Corpse Party. When we last left off, we had just, uh, well, okay, we, had, we hadn't really done much of anything. We All we did was get the same bad ending in Chapter 2 twice. And unfortunately, I'm recording during the day. I usually record this game at night because that's just the kind of game it is. But yeah, I just didn't have time for it. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm having to record in daylight. But let's try not to get jumped this time. Uh. Well, <laughs> that was a miss. I'm starting to think it would be quicker to just close the game and start it back up again than to sit through this ending every time. Oh, okay, so you can skip it. You can skip cutscenes. That's... <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a lot less frustrating now that I know that. Or n not skip cutscenes, but just fast forward through them. There we go. Yes, take the thing. Oh wait, nail puller. Wonder if that maybe wonder if maybe that's what the uh, uh I thought maybe the uh, the floors that make noise, the nail puller would do something to them. But nope. Okay, so there's a... <laughs> there's a fast-forward button that I didn't know about. Is there a run button that I didn't know about? Well. I guess I'll just have to... to walk, as usual. You know, I wonder if I can save. wonder if I can save before I go in there, because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing all that again. It's like the third time I've done all that. Enough is enough. Let's save in a separate slot, though, just to be safe. And this time, let's try... God damn it! How the fuck do I get past that? I mean, I knew this game was gonna get some funny reactions out of me, but you know, I was expecting more horror than than anger. It's like I don't think I've been this angry while recording since fucking Drill Dozer. You son of a bitch! Is, is it supposed to even be possible to get past that? It's like, man. They really ramped up the difficulty after Chapter 1. It's like in Chapter 1, there was only one, like, place where you could... Like die from not having good enough reflexes. And that, like, that gave you a good, like, two or three shots before you actually died. Here, it's like, <laughs> you know, one touch, and you, you're instantly dead. Okay. Okay, so we, we gotta, we gotta retreat. It's that ghost from before. It left the classroom. Don't... don't let it touch you. Uh, let's see, which way am I going? Uh, I guess perhaps this way. Okay, the candle's still there. The candle is still lit. Let's try and... Is it still there? Oh my god! I 
wonder if I have to lure it somewhere. Oh wait, if it's out here, then that means I might be able to check where it was before. Aha! There's something there. Oh, no, there isn't. <clears throat> Uh, oh, right, that's where the, the shiny was. The nail puller, that's where that was. Well. Yeah, I don't think there's anything left to do in this room. Oh, you motherfucker. Get over here. <laughs> Can't catch me, bitch. That was a big waste of time. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, so I assume the nail puller has some purpose over here. Hmm, this board looks fairly loose, but alas. The door's nailed shut and the nails are hammered in tight. It's not gonna open through any normal means, except maybe a nail puller. There's a piece of scrap paper printed to, pinned to the wall. You notice dark spots dotting the page and realize that they're tear stains. Is my mic on? Okay, good. Thank God. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, it's kill or be killed. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Oh, I'm gonna. It appears to be a control mechanism for some sort of elaborate pulley system. Rigged up with a network of fine, virtually transparent threads. There's a lever jutting out from one side. Pull it. What could possibly go wrong? Oh shit! I wonder if I have to go back downstairs. But, let's see if there's anything else we can uh, pull up with that nail puller. Or if it was... Okay, yeah, we still have it. <laughs> Actually, the nail puller snaps in two. Suppose it's uh, back downstairs for us then. All right, I ain't afraid of no fucking goddamn ghost. All right. Little bitch. My grandma walks faster than you and she's dead. Alright, what's back here? Except another pulley. Aha! Alright. 
Back upstairs we go then, or maybe that. Oh my god. Come on, really? Really? Yeah, it'd be like this. Ha! I outsmarted you. Outmaneuvered. Uh, I hope this is the right way. Uh, nope. Well, shit. <laughs> Where he? Oh my god! Run! Fucking run! Yeah! Well, oh, okay. I was gonna say, there is absolutely nothing over here, but that's not true. There was a staircase. What's wrong? You just stop for a minute? No. I just thought this seemed like a good spot for another candle. No objections, I assume? Go ahead. Okay, so that was... <laughs> I, I'm gonna assume that I did take the correct path. Not like a literal path, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I think. Okay, <laughs> so... So it's pretty much established that all these chapters are like non-linear. They take place in different times. So I'm gonna assume this takes place before chapter one. Because it's like where the uh, the save points are established. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Hmm. Well, lots of bad things happen in that room, or are going to happen in that room. So, let's leave it alone. Oh wait. No, I I I I distinctly remember placing that board there myself in chapter one, so maybe this takes place both before and after chapter one. <laughs> Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Byakudan Senior High School, Class 2-4, Ryosuke Katayama. Kitsami. Did you hear a voice just now? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder what happened to him. I get the feeling he was surprised. I think he died quickly and suddenly. Oh, there's blood on these stairs. That's not good. Maybe someone just had a nosebleed. Or maybe Seiko just had diarrhea. It feels weird being in the boys' room. Yo, Shinji, you taking a dump? Tucker! Hey. Did you just hear that crazy voice? I didn't hear anything, but we're definitely not alone in here. We should leave this room right now. Okay. Now I gotta take a piss. <laughs> I get the distinct impression that somebody's watching me. Yeah? <laughs> Probably just my imagination. Why, hello there, viewer. It's me, Yoshiki. What's this? 
Hmm. Seems stained, but with what? Almost looks like a person. Somebody... Somebody died here. I can hear her voice. No. No, please, don't. What's wrong? Whoa. Shinozaki! Damn it all. What the hell's going on around here? No, I want to take a look. It's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. Almost feel like almost feels like there's someone here. It's really giving me the creeps. What the hell? The stall is pitch black inside. Are you alright, Shinozaki? Bring me more. You'll do whatever I ask of you. I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed as buried alive, aren't you? They're mine. I'm sure as hell not sharing with the likes of you. Cleanup is a real pain in the ass too, you know. Have some pity! What's up? Who are you? <laughs> the hell? That really hurt. I believed in you. Why doesn't anybody listen to me? What the hell are you talking about? I don't understand a single word you're saying. God damn it. That poor girl. She's lost her mind, and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul, and someone else's take their place. Okay, she's walking in place now. Ayumi is staring at you as if transfixed, with an unnaturally wide smile stretched across her face. Okay, then. I'm gonna be in here. Hmm. Nope. Can't hide in the stall. Alright. I'll be over here. Shinozaki. I shouldn't just walk away from her like this. But man. I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what the... I wonder what did this to her. Kishinuma! Crap. It's all this smoke I see. Get the hell out of that stall right this instant! Hitting the tobacco again, were we? Uh, well, no, sir. Didn't I warn you what would happen if I caught you smoking again? Expulsion, that's what. I'm sorry. You're a real problem, child, you know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? Eh. Disowned by your parents, living on your own, got no friends, never go to class? Just because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise a ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your home life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh, huh? Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no-good kid like you in the family, but they've never shown their faces around here. 
Not since the very first parent-teacher conferences we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. Haha. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking of the big picture here. They're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you'd better believe I wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours obviously are with you. Problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become proper adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass and drop out. People think as long as they pay school taxes or tuition, they're good mommies and daddies. Well, newsflash, they're not. <laughs> hmm? What's with that look? I've never hit a teacher before. Oh, well. First time for everything. Mr. Tsubota? Uh, huh? Well, if it isn't the class rep, what's up? The vice principal's looking for you. You're needed back at the staff room. Gotcha. Thanks. Hmm? Shinozaki, you've got great eyes, you know that? Always so clear and focused. <laughs> we instructors like your kind best of all. You ever have a problem, you just come talk to me about it, okay? <laughs> that guy's the worst. Thanks. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What a sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school over a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. You'd regret it later. You know you would, no matter how much of a pain in the ass it may be, and no matter how you think you'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, bite your tongue, and make it to graduation. Honestly. Why are you crying? Ah, sorry. Whenever I give an impassioned speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. You're Kishinuma from Class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinozaki from Class 1-3. Sorry to butt in like that. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling... <laughs> I was lying, of course. <laughs> I never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what happens. This, this must be a test, to see if I really meant that no matter what happens part. Why the hell are you doing this? Answer me! Shino- Oh, fuck. You've gotta be kidding me! Well... <laughs> Rip, Yoshiki. In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, Yoshiki's ribcage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs. As he convulsed and writhed in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids, his vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched, stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was very clearly pleased with herself. I was gonna say, <laughs> this seemed like natural plot progression, and then just <laughs> and then just swerved straight into a wrong end.
I was like, that was a short chapter. It's like, cause like I I I just I just know that one of these two ain't making it out alive, and it's probably gonna be Ayumi. Uh, shit, I don't remember where I was. <laughs> right, I think... Think, 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 think. Uh, let's try going up here, just because... Oh, right, I've already been up here. Well... We're gonna try again. Alright, let's try and tell her to fight it this time. Okay, that didn't change anything. Hmm. Let's try talking to the meth head again. Oh, he's not there this time. Wonder if that's the spirit that's possessing her. There's gotta be something in one of these stalls that can help her. Shinozaki. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? Yep. Uh, might be leading straight into a bad end, or a wrong end again, and or this might be the uh, the proper end. I mean, there, there are no stairs for Ayumi to push Yoshiki down this time. Though she might smash his head against the sink instead. Please, come back to me, Shinozaki. We're gonna find all our classmates and get out of this horrible place, okay? There's no reason. No reason for you to stay like this. So... Warm. Kishinuma? Where... what? Shinozaki, you're... Ow! Is it you? Are you back? Huh? What do you... So what you're saying... Yeah, so far all the corpses we found in here have been people we'd never met before. But that stain was left behind by someone really close to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. Mm. And the next thing I knew, I was in your arms, and you were squeezing the life out of me. Couldn't she just say hugging? Someone close to us, huh? I really hope that just- I really hope that just this once, your intuition is wrong. But I could feel all her pain. I was freezing cold, except my throat was so hot. Felt like it was on fire. When I voided my bowels, or, and then I voided my bowels and everything went dark. No matter how hard I struggled, my arms and legs just couldn't move. I wanted to yell out, help me, but I had no voice. I was scared, and the pain was so excruciating. Calm down, Shinozaki. That wasn't you. You're still alive. <laughs> I know. Well, we've searched the whole building. Miss Yui really is nowhere to be found. 
Maybe we should head back to the classroom? Yeah, it's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though, either. Alright, suppose it's uh, back to the classroom for us, then. But we'll probably take care of that in the next episode. Oh, never mind. That, that ghost is still there. I'm going to save before I check that out. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting from the infirmary. <laughs> it's, a, it's an odd choice of words. Oh, shit! That's right! It's the same for me! I love my school! <laughs> Suzumoto, get away! You need to run, quickly! And my homeroom teacher is the best! But I guess you feel the same way about yours, too, huh? <laughs> Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it! Susumoto, it's us, okay? Shinozaki. Kishinuma. Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Huh? They've just been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this, and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post. Four children abducted. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. What the hell? This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. The Heavenly Host Elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. Of these children, one was when the investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was blood... The newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier was one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. No, stop! Hey, what's going on? Shinozaki! Damn it, what the hell did they do? Come and play! What the hell? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, nothing I can do here. I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. Can't even touch her, much less get her down. So what the hell do we do? I don't know. We have to do something. We have to. Whoa, your nose is bleeding. What? D don't tell me that. Jeez. You're so blunt about it, too. Huh? Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? Hello. She's got eyes like a dead fish. 
You've only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will, too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? High school paranormalist Naho Sayanoki. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah. She's also pretty well known for communing with spirits, and has a popular homepage with lots of information on para paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sayanoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Your last posting about the was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition? On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given form of he he <laughs> Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Yeah, ironic that it's called Heavenly Host, but it's more like hell. Victims of an incident that occurred here 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd re be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. A GAME THEORY! THANKS FOR WATCHING! Yeah, but... put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the ones who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying... The murderer is here in the school, yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinozaki, hold up! I don't know much about you as an author or paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. She vom. Hey, are you all right? Y yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was gonna throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. Shinozaki. She needs to get out of the school, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it! Why is there no exit? Let's go back up there and save. 
Uh, save into a different slot, cause you know that there might be there might be a wrong end waiting for us if we go into the if we go back to the classroom before doing that cutscene. And yep, like I said, I want I want to see all the wrong ends before I see the true end. But if you enjoyed this video, then no further actions required on your part. If you got suggestions on what else you'd like to see me play, let me know in the comments. And as always, have a happy and safe spooky month.